this. Oh, drama. How excuses ex girlfriend ruined his life. Isn't she his wife? Ex wife? December Aren't they going through a divorce? That's what I heard. This is the first time we met, but then New Year's was when he realized that he was gonna love me forever. This clip right here shows the inception of a story about how XQC met his girlfriend to death for the first time. However, little did Felix know, it was going to be the beginning of eventual trauma, lawsuits, and involvement with the police. Conducting a full interview with the police, having to go to court, okay, and quite early fight for my life actually in today's video we're diving deep into the events that led up to this moment you know what they say in life like never be jealous about someone else's success or someone else's happiness because you never know what is behind the door and you never know if they are truly happy and successful in life even if from superficial view we say he's the most successful streamer he has the most money and like he should on paper be the happiest you know because he has money and money solves all your problems but look at this, like behind closed doors, the problems that someone can go through. Also, there is truth in the fact that nobody can be on top always and all people get uh, through trouble and problems and success is defined by how you actually face those issues and how you triumph after them. And that's the thing, you know, like and find out why don't this be jealous for other will... people. You never know if, if they are truly happy ultimately ended up ruining his life, starting at the beginning of their first breakup. Now before all of this happened, XQC and Adept appear to be quite a happy couple, oh, despite them and their audience hiding it behind the label, just roommates. And even though this became a huge inside joke on the channel with the couple becoming wildly popular in internet culture, they started arguing more and more throughout 2021, with the relationship slowly beginning to show its first signs of trouble. I know you're gonna try so hard to justify behind your character and i know your chat's gonna make you feel you're incredibly justified you're gonna... honestly i have a feeling that one of the reason this is happening is because both of them are really young but for a woman like now that i'm 30 plus i can tell you when i was 20 if i was under um a spotlight and I had audience and I felt like I can say whatever I want whenever I want I might have made a problem here and there that I would regret but now that I am more aware more conscious about these things let's say I got experience in life and thankfully I wasn't back then uh, under the spotlight I would say this is such a child childish behavior and something you can really regret when you grow older because as a woman, if your man is successful and you know that this is his career, there is one thing that you can do for a man is to respect his boundaries, respect his career and don't put him under the spotlight like this. Even for a man, like how you treat someone, like it's very important to keep these things privately, no matter how much you are hurt, no matter how much that person hurts you at the end of the day just don't bring it out you know like keep it to yourself keep it between each other and if things don't work out at least it's between you two nobody else needs to hear this because once it's out it's out there forever and it doesn't only harm the image of the person you are with it harms your image as well because nobody wants to be with you when they know that eventually you're gonna break the trust that you have worked so hard to build you know double down on it okay but it, they don't know the sh that you did the other day and they should not know and they it's not their business to know because couples whether it is relationship or a marriage they can have so many problems you guys but they kiss and make up and they forget about it however if you bring anyone whether it is a family member or a friend or whatever and you trash talk your par partner to them they're gonna forever remember that you are gonna forget and forgive you know but they are gonna remember it because they are not emotionally attached to the relationship the way you are and if they are your family or your best friend or whatever they're of course gonna try to protect you and love you and be more on your side even though even if they say that they are not in the room out of character no strings no game involved they don't know 
However, arguments like these are very normal in a relationship, yeah. especially when you live together, and it didn't necessarily mean that they would immediately break up over it. Yet, to everyone's surprise, it did actually end up becoming a breaking point for both in August, as they announced their split on Twitter. And while a lot of people had their opinions ready, they handled it professionally and kept it private, not giving uh -huh. in to any rumors and dealing with it behind closed sure. doors. This proved to be a good solution, as they got back together in September, and at the end of the year they even confirmed it officially by releasing their story on how they met and fell in love together. A whole year passed without any drama or fallouts happening between the two and it seemed like the lovebirds finally managed to patch things up once and for all. But this conclusion was far from the truth as their entire life suddenly came crashing down on the 17th of September in 2022. I was cornered into choosing between um, family and Sammy. And unfortunately, what happened is that I, I kind of just chose family. In this clip, XQC announced that they had once again broken up while explaining the situation. And the debt was far from happy with this announcement. You see, Sammy wanted the fans to discover this breakup themselves over time as she didn't want to talk about the traumatic situation that happened beforehand. Well, Felix didn't want the secret to ruin his mood and stream for months. So it ultimately ended in XQC leaking this decision and the depth booting up a live stream herself where she told a pretty watered down story of what happened. As a response, Felix reacted to the stream and gave away even more details of the situation, as there was apparently a major fight between Sammy and the family of Felix. Before a family dinner, a crossfire happened between Felix, Sammy, Felix's brother and his girlfriend, after which his brother and his girlfriend decided to move out. There was a big crossfire okay of both sides would be me my girlfriend him his girlfriend is a, a big crossfire that ended up him moving out and be on his own his girlfriend and he was he was very hurt by it okay he was very he was very hurt and he was, he was very very sad this is terrible when your woman goes against your family like that and you are in the middle and you can't choose and if she makes you try to choose you can't a woman should never, or a man, a partner should never ask you to choose between them and the family. Never. But also, it is your duty to make both sides feel respected and put them in their place. For example, I am really against mommy's boys who put their mom always in front of their wife or their girlfriend. I do understand there is a relationship between a mom and a, and a, and a son but there need to be boundaries and the mom needs to know about those boundaries you know um other than that yeah i think it's normal to have boundaries this resulted in the dinner plans changing last minute to only felix his dad and his brother going alone and this put xqc in a difficult situation as he wanted to be there for his brother at dinner yet also I... wanted to later support sammy when he got home but the family was so rude to adapt that it escalated in an all-out oh, war he should not and allow XQC that wanted none of yeah he should not allow the family to trash talk his girl he should not allow that. Oh, and she he should not allow excuse uh, uh, her. What's her what's her name? Adept to uh, to trash talk his family. Like this should not be a thing. Sammy asked Felix to defend her, but Sammy. he failed to do so as he tried to escape the situation as fast as possible, trying to cool down, and it resulted in it being the final nail in the coffin for their relationship. XQC yeah. ended up taking a lot of the blame for this whole tragedy. If you call whatever you want, I succeeded out, I failed, I, I didn't do right, that is correct. That is correct. Okay. In the basis of a relationship, doing the right thing to set up a relationship, I did not do that one thing. Also stating okay. that he felt yeah, cornered and had to choose between at least he is uh admitting it and like apologizing for it between adept and his family and he ultimately decided to go for his family the two ended up going their own ways and it meant that felix was now single but this new relationship status didn't last long as after going on a few dating streams he met his new girlfriend nixie with whom he was not afraid to share their intimate connection online the new relationship this was so dumb when i saw this the first time the, like you it's such a publicity stunt or whatever like she wanted the views there this girl and that that was not the right move at all in my opinion that was that ugh obviously caused a lot of tension with adept and after various allegations and con bro what the fuck what the hell is this what is this
Ew, uh, this is disgusting. These two sit sitting there looking at them while they are kissing in front of everyone on stream. Controversies, the couple eventually broke up, Ew. with cheating allegations being at the heart of these accusations. She just thought that I probably cheated, and I have nothing to hide. Okay. XQC obviously denied it and gave us the actual reason for their breakup that Nixie did something that was personally unacceptable for him, but eventually didn't go into further detail. Nixie caught herself in the middle of their drama as Adept even went to XQC's house and got permission to scroll through his phone to confirm herself that Felix didn't cheat on her with Nixie during their relationship. However, his new girlfriend wasn't the only victim of this situation, because there was a massive hostage case going on during all of this. It didn't involve anyone being Hostage? locked up in a basement but it did involve a garage as adept apparently had legal ownership of xqc's mclaren 720s spider oh. which he paid three hundred thousand dollars for the purchase <laughs> happened almost a whole year earlier as felix proudly showed it off in a forza horizon stream yet there was one problem <laughs> he didn't have a u.s driver's license as he's from canada which meant that he couldn't register the car dude it's so easy to get a license I mean, I got a German license. It just took me a couple of days his own name. After the breakup, Sammy confirmed that she actually had this ownership and occasionally used this card to provoke a reaction, even insinuating with an Instagram story that she went on a date in his car as there were flowers on the passenger side, with all of this happening on XQC's birthday. Whoa! I, I, I... Dude, that, the, all of these moves from both sides, it is so bad. I mean, it's good entertainment for us. But for their image, it is unbelievably bad. Zero respect, brother. What is this? I hate it. When shit happens when I'm on stream, I hate it. I, I know what to do. I know what to do. And at one point, he even had to freeze his credit cards. I mean, dude, I froze my credit cards. I did. I, I did. I don't know. The, uh, <laughs> she's supposed to be a grown woman, but she's acting like a psycho little child. Like, grow the F up, little sir. Stop embarrassing yourself. Both of them. Both of them are going on a spree. While also having to ask Aiden Ross if he could park the car in his garage. The whole situation became a complete mess not only emotionally but also legally. Yet, it was nothing compared to what would come next. As 2023 was the year where XQC's life would get completely destroyed. What do you mean, man? Oh, On January 7th, XQC's Twitch stream was bizarrely cut short after Adept arrived at his house and claimed that he was violating a court order. Can you please get out now? Get out now? No, I need you to move the account back now. Apparently, Felix locked Sammy out of the account for a card that she had full authority to by changing the password. But this didn't get... Locked me out of the account for the card that I have full authority. ...the attention of fans at all. No, they heard Adept say court order, which meant that they might have been married all this time. After some digging, they found a legal document confirming these rumors, but XQC denied all of Yikes. it. Yikes! I will tell you, with 100% confidence okay i am not married i was never married i would probably never get married for the rest of my life okay it's just it's just not me i don't so what court order are we talking about i don't see any value in it okay so why is it that the whole situation was so vague why did sammy file for divorce while felix denies they were even married in the first place well it was due to a thing called common law marriage What's now common that? law marriage is the idea that uh, as specifically a death petition for divorce is under the assumption of what is called common law marriage with her lawyer tasked with proving that the couple meets the criteria for it common law marriage is the idea that two people are married in all but name despite never having formally registered a fact 
Two people that are is married thing? in all but name. Oh, I know that is a thing. Like, if you have children out of marriage, then you have legal rights, even Despite never though you are not married. Registered effect. And while the US has abolished this way of marriage in most states, there are still some states where this can be contracted, Yoy. including Texas. And where that they are, petition right? for divorce was filed under this form of marriage. And attorney Tom gave a great explanation as to which evidence she would have to provide. So she will have to show that one, they agreed to be married. Two, that they lived together after they agreed to be married and three they held themselves out to others that they were husband and wife this meant that the debt only think had to prove happened. that they told verified witnesses that they were married and a youtuber named henry resilient found her exhibits of proof in the court documents she provided discord messages a youtube video mentioning this common law marriage provided a copy of the lease proving they lived together in texas and they did also live together. got her family and even the housekeepers involved to testify as a result she demanded lawyers fees, spousal support, exclusive use of the BMW and the Tesla, a $500,000 bond in case Felix messed up and wanted to prevent him from using his money to gamble or buy expensive clothing and jewelry. All while simultaneously filing a restraining order against him and them both not being allowed to discuss the litigation. The court ended up denying most of these demands, but gave her temporary exclusive access to the BMW and the Tesla, got Felix to sign the agreement of him not gambling and approved both him his and Sammy's request of not speaking about the matter on stream. Yet, this didn't mean that both of them would be silent on the matter. No. In fact, Adept's mission became more apparent than ever, as she wanted to make sure that XQC and his empire eventually got completely demolished. You see, many were speculating that Samantha had no solid case to win this lawsuit, as Felix's lawyer had a great defense. He said, just to be clear, I want to make sure I understand. XQC never told you that he and Sammy were married, correct? And her answer is no, not, not directly. directly. This is her mom getting questioned by his lawyer. But she didn't give up on her story, showing a wedding ring, luring him back and kicking him out of his own house, and finding the perfect opportunity to destroy his image when he found himself in some hot water. This is terrible. You literally do it to enrich yourself. You're a multi-millionaire and you steal content from small creators and you don't give a f about their rights or what they want. And then your only justification is, oh yeah, you can come chase me down and complain and try to get my attention so I can pay you for that I stole. Yes, when XQC got called out for doing... Ah, oh, for the React stream. Oh my God. Everybody's doing it. AC React content and profiting of YouTubers, he decided to debate Ethan Klein on the H3H3 podcast. This obviously didn't end in a professional conclusion, with both of them bickering a lot. But Felix <laughs> came off as a bit of an egotistical chat when he flexed his watch and his house in Ethan's DMs, which the host of the podcast leaked after. I mean, of course he's gonna flex on him. The only reason you are talking about him for views and attention. Why are you not mentioning me? I react to streams. No, because I'm nobody. Of course you're gonna go to the big streamers, the big YouTubers who react because you want to get views and you want to get the money yourself. Come on, man. You, this guy has been always shady. Always. Afterwards, Adept immediately went live to make fun of him. I can't even fucking hear you. And while she only turned more fans against her after this stream, with them labeling it as a manic episode, the worst was yet to come. Sammy continued using the McLaren as manipulative and controlling tactics, and also filed another lawsuit accusing him of SA. In this case, she used the situation of another one of XQC's ex-girlfriend's friend to her own advantage, using the story of him grabbing the butt of friend during them sleeping as a starting point for her own case. But not only did friend debunk her claims, and you know what she's doing? She used that, what I said, and is trying to paint Felix as like a, an essay, like that he essayed me. She tried, she, she quite literally took that and tried to twist it and fit into a fake narrative. Are you kidding me? The judges also disagreed as they closed the criminal investigation due to a lack of evidence. Yet, Adept was still not backing down. And the person that keeps causing confusion and chaos in all of this wants to cause confusion and chaos so that you're outraged at me 
and also indirectly insinuated that XQC broke into her home, fought a protective order for family violence against him after spending the night with him in Texas, and recently exposed him for paying his head moderator for sleeping with him, ending in adept leaking messages and doxing the mod in question on stream, which he ultimately might have got banned for. The entire situation is completely messed up, and has ruined the life of both parties either way. The costs of the lawsuit set up, both fan bases are fighting against each other, their friend group has their opinions split, and innocent people involved are getting dragged into the drama while having their privacy breached. XQC claimed that it has traumatized him, and that he might never even recover from this whole ordeal. But oh, it will take him so long to trust another woman, and that is so sad. It will take him a lot, but also, don't get me wrong, I don't think that it's all her fault. I think that in this in this partnership, relationship, whatever they had, both of them contributed to the downfall. Um, but both of them have this big ego that they don't want to admit it. What was even the main reason for we this don't know anything, guys. We know nothing. Brand? Well, it apparently came from Felix not including her in his will. I was kind of like, I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't feel really good. And whatever and then if i if i die if i check out uh, like i want people to get stuff and that person was not on the wheel moment where i'm like really vulnerable at my kind of lowest like uh, it's kind of like a oh wow like like i'm if that person is not on your will you do not love that person if i find out that i'm not on the will of someone who is my partner for years and years and who i live with and stuff then i would know that that person doesn't love me enough all right like he's a millionaire like for him if when he dies like everybody can get enough money and get enough of his stuff and heritage so it's not like he doesn't have enough to share he has more than enough to share and him not even trying to take care of his woman means that he doesn't love her and that would be the one of the biggest signs for me to not be with a person like that like we're not meant to be you don't care about me enough I'm kind of, I'm so scared. I'm, I'm running a wheel down. Hearing him just say like, okay, then that happens, and then what do I get? However, things are. What do I get? Oh, okay, that's so mean to say. <laughs> that is so mean to say. But also keep in mind, I I don't know the truth, but I feel like they were together before he was even a thing, like before he grew up and got money and stuff. So you cannot like really say that she's with him for his money. Uh, they were together before. And they loved each other but yeah what do i get oh, yeah i don't know it's hard looking better for him day by day as he got a protective order lifted and had lengthy interviews with the police that resulted in them and the court basically siding with felix yet he's still in the process of pursuing justice fighting to officially get his house back in which adept is living rent free get his cars back and vow to never settle meaning that no settlement money will ever be paid to the other party present or future it seems like xqc is slowly but surely putting an end to this madness and winning the case but it is far from over yet and even then if he wins the case the emotional damage stress and trauma that this has caused him will probably follow him for the rest of his life even into other relationships and i'm not yeah. sure if he will ever trust to marry a woman ever again yep. for now he doesn't have to worry about that though yeah. and continues dating around also streaming daily bettering his health by going to the gym and continuing nice. a successful career so what do you think about the whole situation? Did they actually have a common law marriage? Or was this just a false narrative for financial gain? Let me I know in know. the comments down below. I, I don't know if they did. I probably, sh what she was doing there is like, if I'm gonna lose, I'm not gonna lose hard and I'm gonna get something out of it. And she tried multiple ways to go to court through that and figure it out. And I don't know if she gained anything from that. One thing I know that both of them lost is the respect from so many people. They lost also emotional trust and uh, they ruined their life forever. Like their image as well. Like, it, I don't know. It's going to be hard for him to find a woman that is going to be with him for other reasons, you know, and for her to be with a man who's going to respect her after seeing this and trust her and not be scared of her going after him. You know, it will take them years and years before all of this is like behind them and they can just move move past it. She seemed like the insane one for sure. I mean, you never know really. They can't portray an image, right? 
uh, you never know what's behind the scene. He could be like really professional at it and show you what you want to see while she is uh, just being honest and doesn't know how to fake it. Yeah, like you never know these things at the end of the day, you know. I just wish for both of them to recover from this, get better and smarter about what to say and what to do in public because these things stay around, you know, and people talk about it like we are right now. It's not fun. Oh,